Hello. Today we're going to make two different types of ant waterers or feeders. These can be used to either give your ants water, sugar water, hummingbird nectar, or any kind of liquid that you're choosing to feed them. This type is the gravity feeder. So as you can see, it will sit like this in the outworld. You'll fill it full of water, and as the ants keep drinking, it'll slow it in air bubbles to keep bringing the liquid down. The mesh is there so that most ants can't get into drowned. And it also helps the air bubbles release safely. Um, if you do have really small ants, you can use a finer mesh without problem. So that's the gravity feeder. Other type is the wick feeder. So it is simply a container with a small hole on top with some sort of material that will wick up water. This in particular is chamois cloth, um, but you can use yarn, thread, um, anything that will more or less wick up water. It's pretty simple. This will help uh, prevent any drownings if you have really small ants, or if you have ants that like to drain the feeders by piling up dirt against them. This is a neat, different way of doing it. So let's do the wick system, because it's the easiest one. Just get your container. Simple. Take a pair of tweezers, a nail, scissors, and you're going to push it in. Okay. Pull it off. Grab your chamois cloth, or whatever you're using for a wick. And we're going to stick it right up in there. You don't want very much out, because the ants can easily get to it. And the less there is, the less evaporation. So just that little tiny nib there. I'm not sure if you can see it. And that's all you need. And that's one waterer for you. Okay, that's the chamois cloth wick. Uh, the gravity feeder is a little bit more difficult, but it is very sturdy. We're going to grab a drill. I'm using a 332nd bit. You're going to put your container on. Mark where the line is right here. I already pre marked it for this purpose. And you're going to pull this off. You're going to start drilling straight in. And you're going to drill to the See, I did a drill to the side there. This will help any air bubbles escape. Get rid of any of the little bits of plastic. So then you got that. You're going to take some aquarium silicone or a two part epoxy or any sort of neutral glue that's not going to dissolve in water. Just going to grab some like that. You're going to put it carefully on the sides. You're not going to put over the hole because that will just cause problems later. Okay, like that. This is the piece of door mesh. You can buy steel mesh. Um, I found that the mesh off of those um, frying pan covers you can get for like a dollar at the dollar store work very well. And of course I dropped it. Give me one second. Okay, I got it here again. Apologize for that. You take this. You're just going to set it in. Make sure it's not touching the bottom, it's going to cause problems later. Just press it into the silicone. Don't move it side to side because you don't want any silicone on the mesh parts above the hole. If your holes have um, rectangular shapes instead of squares, make sure they're, painting, they're pointing up and down to help the water release. Uh, make sure you let that dry for at least 48 hours. And it's as simple as that. Let dry the lid off. And because the containers are all dishwasher safe, so is that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this, and have a great day.